Are you drinking too much water? Wait, what? Too much water? Isn't water supposed to be good for you? That's like saying that too much air is bad or taking too many vacation days are a problem. Well, too much water can cause something called hyponatremia. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Kidney Tidbits. I'm Dr. Imad Sarki. So, what does hyponatremia mean? Hyponatremia means low sodium in the blood. And when we say low sodium, we are referring to the concentration of sodium i.e. the relationship of sodium to water in the blood. When the amount of water in the blood dilutes the sodium, that leads to a condition called hyponatremia. Now, why is hyponatremia a problem? Think of sodium as the electrolyte that keeps the amount of water in your body in check. If there is too much water, your cells start to absorb it like sponges, and that's when things get messy, especially brain cells. When brain cells absorb water, that can be a big problem. A swollen brain doesn't just make you feel weird, but it can also lead to confusion, seizures, and coma. Your brain likes to stay snug inside your skull. So what happens when the brain swells up? Let's just say that the skull is not known for its flexibility. But hyponatremia isn't just caused by drinking too much water. Certain medications such as diuretics and antidepressants, medical conditions such as heart failure and kidney disease, SIDH, the syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion, and even strenuous exercise, such as in marathon runners, can throw your sodium out of whack. So how do you know that someone has hyponatremia? It starts with symptoms, which could be as mild as some nausea and tiredness, progressing to confusion, seizures, and coma. Also, a simple blood test can check for the sodium level. A sodium level less than 135 is diagnostic of hyponatremia. Your doctor then needs to check something called urine osmolarity and urine sodium to diagnose what's causing the hyponatremia. So what's the good news? The good news is that hyponatremia is treatable. The key is addressing the cause. If it's from too much water, you need to pump the brakes on the hydration. If it's from a medication or a medical condition, those need to be addressed directly. And please don't start eating potato chips and pretzels if you have hyponatremia and high blood pressure. Severe cases of hyponatremia need to be admitted to the hospital for intravenous fluid administration, and that has to be done under careful medical supervision. The moral of the story is, hydration is important, but let's not go overboard. Balance is key. If you ever feel weak, confused, or just off, don't ignore it. It might be your sodium asking for help. Stay smart, stay balanced, and remember, water is your friend, but only in reasonable amounts. Thank you for watching. If you want more kidney-friendly health tips, hit that subscribe button. Your kidneys will thank you.